What's going on guys? Welcome back. Another short and sweet video today probably because I'll be heading back home at some point today so won't be around for too long but still cleaning up parts here today with this LS. Uh, pretty much up the starting to clean up the pistons and push rods because that's just about all I'm going to be using out of all this gear except for the, obviously the crank and the heads but we're not doing them yet because we don't have the parts to put back into them at this stage so uh, that stuff should be in next week so should be cracking along with it a bit more then but as you all know there's still plenty of stuff to clean up that has to be done so pistons and rods and push rods so Dan also wants me to do a few more things to the VL so might look at doing some stuff to that as well he wants me to pull out his e-boost so he can take that back to the bloke he bought it from and get his money back um, so yeah a few little things going on so hello wash tub my old friend Alrighty, nice and cleaned up after 20 years of carbon buildup. Pistons are all nice and clean. Cleaned all the ring grooves. Uh, the actual the ring groove we've got didn't have one thin enough really to do the top ring groove, so I ended up actually using an old ring just to clean them out a bit better. So all the carbon's cleaned out of those, so those pistons are just about ready. I decided to clean up number seven, even though it's on the bent rod, just because the LS ones, especially these very early ones, they had a lot of different revisions to the pistons. So uh, if we can't get one that's exactly the same piston, uh, we may have to actually press that piston off the rod and try and put a new rod on that piston um, to keep it all balanced. So I decided to clean it up just in case we end up going that way. Uh, hopefully we're lucky enough to get a piston that's exactly the same. So just new piston and rod, that'll be fine. Um, so next thing is just going to be clean up the push rods because I'll be using them as well. So I'll give them a clean up in the wash tub and um, then probably just a bit of scotch, scotch paper, scotch bright. Right, a couple of nice cleaned up push rods. Nice and clean. So cleaning is just one of those really long and annoying processes of doing this, but it all has to be done. Um, but anyway, that's pretty good. That's all cleaned up. Um, should also add when you're cleaning up stuff on the wire brush like that, things like pistons, push rods, uh, very, very lightly on the brush. Don't put too much pressure on it. Just let the brush do the work. Um, but yeah, it's nice to clean up, you know, 20 years of uh, carbon buildup it's quite satisfying as much as it's annoying and painful <laughs> but um, that's going to be pretty much it for my day out here start loading up I'll um, put the VL back inside load up Dan's wheels so they're going back down to the coast to get some more taken off the inside so that they don't rub on the guards so much and yeah so that's pretty much going to be today nice short one for you uh, another thing I'll have to do is clean up these extractors we'll give them a paint to the nose and beautiful and new looking but um, I'm gonna leave my GoPro or my camera gear here for Rex so um, Rex should be back tomorrow and be back into doing stuff um, at the moment sort of at the mercy of waiting on stuff to get here parts and that so um, waiting on the trunnion upgrade and lifters are sorry we've got the lifters waiting on trunnion upgrade and um, and springs and the cam so that uh, Rex can sort of I think his plan is to really get them heads knocked over while I'm at work um, at the start of this week so He'll do the trunnion upgrade and the springs and all that and um, get them heads back together. So hopefully you can sort that out. Hopefully those parts are going to be here. And um, yeah, hopefully he 
films a bit of that and does some content for you so I can put that on later on. But anyway, thanks for watching as always guys and I'll catch up with you on the next one. Peace. Righto guys, so I just realised leaving the shed that I actually still uh, forgot to do what I needed to do to the Falcon and my trailer. So still got them to do next week. Uh, I also realised on the way home thinking about it that if I do release these videos three times a week then this one should be coming out around about Christmas time. So Merry Christmas everyone. Hope everyone has a safe and uh, really awesome Christmas. Drinks too much, eats too much and uh, sleeps a lot because that's what it's all about. <laughs> Peace guys, catch you later.